say, and I'm triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of trigger, um, the horse. I I I really not sure what this video is, but it was just the headline that kind of got my attention and and um, video video game horses and the times they've been acceptable. Now, I'm not sure exactly what they're doing here. I also, like I haven't watched this yet either, so this is fresh for me as well. But I just saw the title and I couldn't resist not throwing it in the show. So let's have a look and see when game video game horses were acceptable. Hello, I hate horses. I'm not going to try and rationalize that statement. I just do. I just don't think horses are very good. I don't like their big horsey faces, and I don't understand why humans allow themselves to become horsey people. I just think they're a bit rubbish, and I'd like to say right now I am absolutely not making this video solely to wind up Chris because he likes horses. Definitely not. Video game horses? Now they're all right. Some of them. In fact, I've kind of used horses as a personal little yardstick for game development for years now, generally by attacking them to see whether it's possible, the same way I instantly want to know if I can make a video game car drift. It gives me a sense of how many of the finer details got fleshed out during development. So, in the spirit of equine admiration, and definitely not to wind Chris up, here are some times video game horses have been alright, and times when they've been pants, like real horses. To look at the first time I really remember being cruel to a horse as a way to test the boundaries of a game, we need to go all the way back to 1998. <laughs> Epona in The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time is probably the most important video game horse ever, so let's ignore the fact she'd probably be getting on a bit now if she were a real horse and pretend we wouldn't be thinking about sending her to the knacker's yard or, you know, Tesco. I remember riding Epona around Hyrule Field one time when I was younger when I decided to loose an arrow into the back of her head just to see what would happen. It didn't hurt her as far as I could tell, but she did let out an anguished neigh, which in my prepubescent state I found mildly amusing. Sorry Epona, thanks for keeping me safe from all those cucko attacks. Yeah. Fast forward 12 years to Red Dead Redemption when I first got on my horse and curiosity got the better of me. I could certainly aim my gun at the back of the horse's head, but if I pulled the trigger, would it? Yes, oh Christ, yes it will, that horse is very dead now. <laughs> Weirdly, it was at that moment I first got mind the idea Red Dead Redemption might be something a little bit special, because one of those finer details I'd always looked for had just been ticked off in a fairly spectacular way. It was also the first time I was aware of the That was all kinds of win! Other video game horses aren't quite so entertaining or even remotely useful. I'm the original Parte Animal. Hudson Horse Dashio from Viva Piñata, for instance, is the most arrogant video game character oh, you've God, ever hoped to meet. Absolutely obsessed with his own celebrity, well, you just because he's full of sweets instead of internal organs. <laughs> Can so I? Go, would it? Yes. Hang on a second, there we go, okay. Head, but if I pull the trigger, would it? Yes. Oh, Christ, yes it will. That horse is very dead now. Weirdly, it was at that moment I first cottoned on to the idea that Red Dead Redemption might be something a little bit special. There's those finer details I always look for a <laughs> a killing a horse could be way. so entertaining. Also the first time I was aware I was probably on some kind of list. <laughs> Other video game horses aren't quite so entertaining or even remotely useful.